I2 stereo, Sechi Bagoosh. I'll just let it kind of loop there a second. We saw this happen about a year ago, you guys, and I could not for the life of you me tell you what the heck is going on here. But apparently, we'll figure out what that planet here is in just a second, but look at the explosion on this camera. What the... And I won't finish that word. All right, let's take another set, look at another set you here real quick. Another weird one from HI1. Again, this one is weird because you're going to see a don't like kind of a sphere appear behind the earth there. We'll analyze that a little bit more closely in a second. I just wanted to give you the first look at it. Everybody says, oh, these fake, these are meant, these, these instruments from NASA are fake, blah, blah, blah. You know what? Shut up. I'm sick of hearing it. These are space instruments. They are showing us stuff. They cover stuff up. It's, it's, it's always going to be, you know, if you have sufficient proof of planets in this solar system, they're going to find some damn thing wrong with it because they don't want us to know the truth. And I'm getting just about sick of people saying that you can't trust these things. Yeah, I mean, there's a certain level of discretion you got to use with it. But man, why would they ever show us this stuff? You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? It's kind of the footage from the uh, um, HI1A, where it actually shows the planet. So that's Saturn out there, too, you know, out in the distance. And then we've got Earth here in the foreground, so we know what that is. And as we can see now on the HI2A with the planet labeled, that's Jupiter that ran into the baffle there. And again, this is exactly what we saw last year, and that's why it's freaking me out a little bit. Eh, why is Jupiter in the same position as it was last year? It takes more than a year for it to get around the sun. B, kaboom, here it goes. You can't quite see it as clearly as what we saw it on the, uh, the other um, representation of it because of the different um, detection, but there it is, guys. And I remember the one time I challenged them on that baffle, they took it down for a couple days. <laughs> and there's a big, like, thing behind it. Oh, my God. Oh, Photograph um, from 526. I think this is Australia. Yeah, it's Australia. And we're getting this, this big, you're going to show it, see the same thing over here in Alaska here in just a second. But what I'm more interested in is all that's going on over here. Watch what happens in this, like, little teeny time lapse. you got all this movement going on, and... Oh, it's fake. Mm -mm, that's not fake. That's real. We're not photoshopping or doing anything, man. You can go look at any of these like airport cams and see them for yourself. No problemo. Here's that. Here's what we we started to see down there. Um, and this is what I wanted to point out and look at real quick. And uh, basically, you've got this kind of orb with the center in it again. And it got now it's starting to have this translucently like shiny looking thing to it and it's not a lens flare guys it's not how they work there's here's another <laughs> i'm gonna pay, i'm gonna squirrely mood today here's another one where we're seeing it in uh in alaska but this one is really really weird because look at how it's got the tail on it man doesn't that remind you of what the what the ancients said about it uh this kind of thing with the tail on it again untouched photo from alaska guys you know, people are just pulling off from the side of the road and taking pictures of the stuff now, guys. It's not, this isn't like a debate anymore. It's, you know, that's why I don't even want to talk to the trolls anymore. I want to talk to any of the people on the opposition saying it doesn't exist. I'm, I, I, it's just, to me, it's ridiculous and it's destructive and it doesn't do anybody any good. I'd rather discuss and debate this with other Nibiru researchers to refine our understanding of what it is because we don't all have the same point of view as you guys know in the audience. So why don't we all put our freaking hats in the ring and start debating each other and reaching each other's audience with better information why would we ever give the trolls any voice and that's the policy now of wso i've taken the advice of everybody i've listened to over the last week we will not entertain or or promote or publish or discuss trolls anymore that is it we're we're about research right now here's a nice one from sharon she's just she was noticing some uh you know, kind of the double orbing going on around the sun. And let's open this one up a little bit further, man, because you guys got to see this stuff. Look at this. Here's another airportview.net view. And we're just getting these huge orbs up in the sky, guys. And again, it's not, there's not really a debate um, anymore. It's more, you know, it's more what are we looking at, not a debate about what it, 
you know, if it's here or not, you know. Here's one from Alaska where we can actually see those two orbs that we saw on the um, drone flight the other day. Again, we see this all the time. They're getting bigger. Um, I will add to that. And they're moving with the sun. They're not a sun flare. See that? De, 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 de. And again, you know, it's just I'm getting so, so, so tired right now of trying to explain this to folks that are just never going to listen. So I'm not going to waste time anymore. You know, there are people that want to listen to this and want this information, and, and I'm here for you. Everybody else, take a leap. You know, if you don't like it, unsubscribe from my channel. Seriously, I don't want you here if you're not here to learn more and try to add to the discussion. I'd rather you leave, okay? But those of you who want to learn more about what's going on and try to help us figure out what's going on, stay here with me as long as you want to, man. Send me as many notes and letters as you want to. And we're all in it together. That's why I look at it. Here's the one I wanted to look at, though. Ah, what? 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 You know, this is where BP Earthwatch would say, that's a lens flare. <laughs> I love you, BP. BP thinks everything's a lens flare. And, you know, we get a lot of people just critiquing us all the time about this kind of stuff. But how could you call that a lens flare, man? What kind of crazy person do you think I am? Dude, we can see, like, texture and stuff. This reminds me of what Gary was seeing in Wainwright the other day. Hey, Gary, yeah, Gary was the first one to, ca to catch this one, man. And here it is, as plain as day. I mean, how, what, what can you say to this, guys? Really? You're going to try to tell me that all of the stuff that we're showing is just co totally false, and it just gets more and more every day. You know what I mean? Um, just, just weird. Now, this one is from Neil, and he, Neil's been with us from the beginning, but he actually caught lightning up in the sky with no clouds. I darkened this up a little bit, and you always got these high-level clouds, don't the chemtrailing, but you could actually see, watch, the lightning producing up there. No thunder clouds, no nothing. We're looking for plasma activity, so whenever we see this kind of thing, we want to point it out to you guys just to say, heads up, man, there's some plasma activity going on, okay? So let's see what else we've got here today to share. Um, and then the last one, I don't know if this is even interesting or not, but let's just put it up anyway. So in this picture, we have, oh, yeah, 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 this is interesting. Watch the UFO go through. <laughs> let's do it again. So we've been talking to all these artists this week, right? Gerald Clark. We've been talking to Bob Evans. We've been talking to Matthew Rogers. We've been talking to, um, we're going to be talking to Gil Brizard next Thursday. And it's almost like we've got the titans of freaking Nibiru coming and talking about all this stuff. Bob Evans. All these guys are freaking experts. Now, I want to share something with you that I think you'll think is very funny. Um, we talk about targeting all the time, and I laugh about it. I'm not going to sit there and get bent about it and sound like some kind of paranoid guy. We just get targeted. They mess with us all the time. They know that we're a threat to them. They demonetized our deep state video, which is no surprise to me. They'll let me run the Nibiru the videos because they're so popular right now, and everybody wants and hungers for that information. But as soon as we start talking deep state, demonetize right away, you know. And then this morning after we, and this this is what Bad Baby told me that everybody that anybody that interviews Bob Evans like we did yesterday, <laughs> that's so funny. I'm laughing because they're so ridiculous. They're not going to stop the truth, man. Truth itself will set people free. That's what the Bible says, and that's what I believe. The truth will set you free, so seek the truth so it can set you free. But here's the truth, right? The truth is, we talked to Bob Evans. He he lays some heavy revies on us, some really interesting stuff, right? And then next day, I'm uh, because we're all working in the same house for WSO now. All The whole team is here in one place. So if they want to kill us all at one time, they probably can do it. We wake up in the morning and none of our phones are working. Hey, my phone won't work. I can't get on my phone. <laughs> and you know what? You know what they you know what they do? We had to go all the way to like a level four engineering tech at Verizon. They had to reset the main switch. So somebody buggered up the settings in there. Messed us up good for the morning. We couldn't even make a call until like two o'clock in the afternoon. So yeah, we get targeted, guys. And you know, the only reason somebody like you know, the only reason you're gonna get targeted is if you're over the target, right? They're not gonna shoot the anti-aircraft guns unless you're like right over them. So any truther, I don't care, news like Dabu or any of those guys, um, any of the Nibiru researchers, listen, my my, my I absolutely do not want to fight anybody that is in this space. And if I have sounded that way, it is absolutely not gonna happen anymore. We have to pull together right now. 
this is a critical time for humanity. Decisions must be made. And we have to make these decisions and we have to group up. No one person has the truth. We need each other. And that's why we went through and did all, we're doing all these different Nibiru artists and creators and people that are doing work in this area. We wanted to get as many points of view as we could. And so there's going to be a lot of different theology involved in that, guys. I understand. And I get it. But here's the thing. Not everybody has the same a belief structure. God dang, look at that. Look at this. I didn't even see this one. Oh, my. Interesting. Interesting. But what I was getting to is none of us have the whole truth. And I here's my strategy. Here's WSO's strategy now. Our strategy is that we're going to try to reach out to anybody who wants to give information that has credible data. If they don't want to respond to us, that's fine too. We love you, man. Go do your own thing. Free choice. We'll get so catatonic from this stuff. And we, what we need to do is realize is that our job is to help people. And it's not so, in, it's not so important to convince people if it's true or not. You